President Trump erasing an executive order on fuel efficiency put in place during President Obama's last days in office. KPX 5's political reporter Melissa Kane on the move that is worrying California environmentalists. Melissa? Yeah, Veronica, today the president gave a speech to auto workers in Michigan where he promised more jobs and fewer regulations in general, but he also made one specific announcement. He's stopping an Obama administration environmental rule that was put in place as they were walking out the door. Today I am announcing that we are going to cancel that executive action. President Trump is talking about what President Obama's administration did just three days before leaving office, forcing automakers to make vehicles that get about 36 miles a gallon by 2025. But automakers told President Trump this was too soon. We are going to ensure that any regulations we have protect and defend your jobs your factories. President Trump's order means that the EPA must continue to work with automakers to come up with fuel standards by April 2018. Automakers applauded the move, saying the current rule ignores the fact that low gas prices mean electric cars just aren't selling. In a statement, the president of the Auto Alliance wrote, the Trump administration has created an opportunity for decision makers to reach a thoughtful and coordinated outcome predicated on the best and most current data. Stanley Young is not buying it. They want to sell more SUVs and light trucks. That's their cash cow. Young is the director of communications of the California Air Resources Board. This board oversees California's air standards, which are, by law, allowed to be more strict than the federal rules. Because we, as a state, began setting standards before the Clean Air Act was even written or considered. Because if anybody remembers what Los Angeles was like back in the 1950s, 60s, and 70s, Smog was very bad. So we have what's known as extraordinary and compelling conditions, and that allows us to set standards that can be stricter than the federal standards. Could President Trump or someone in his administration end California's special status? Well, we don't know how it would work, and we're very concerned that it might happen. And I think we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Now, today's action won't have an immediate impact on California or the 14 other states that have chosen to comply with California standards. Still, Young says this state will stay on the front lines. But we are determined to uh, defend California at all costs and ensure that we keep these standards. Now, there's no way to stop or reverse President Trump's order that was announced today. But remember, he's basically just forcing the parties to go back to the negotiating table for another year or so. And Young says that the California Air Resources Board will be at that negotiating table and they will fight hard to make sure that these regulations don't get watered down. Live on Auto Row here in Colma, Melissa Kane, KPIX 5.